It's been 45 minutes. I can't get up. He refuses to move. Every time I try to shift to get up, he says, nope. It's a good thing I did the dusting and stuff before I... Morning, guys. So, heading out. I'm having a huge issue with getting chewed up by bugs. And... Whoop, run, run, run. <laughs> I've got chicker bites. I've got... Um, mosquito bites. I've got ant bites. And I have tried bloody near everything I can think of to try to stop the itch. Um, right now I'm taking Benadryl every night. I contacted my GP so I can ask her, well, I did ask her in an email, uh, what her recommendation was. I'm literally at the point I'm going to start scraping skin off my my legs and my torso. And it's only my legs and torso. It's not my arms. It's not my face. It's not my neck area. It's not the decolletage. It's just from like here down in the core. So, dealing with that this morning. I've had a lot of scritchiness this morning. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm putting it in, if I'm going to go ahead and put it in now or put it in later so it doesn't look so awkward. But this morning I sat down on the sofa after I got done dusting and picking up and doing all the stuff I could do with Troy still asleep. Banner curled up in my lap and wouldn't let me up for about an hour. I've got... My neighbors think I'm insane. I mean, not that I'm not, but at the same time, probably... <laughs> Not what you want your neighbors to think it of, yeah? But I'm going to try. I think Troy might work from home today, so I am going to try to get some cards made. All I have to do is wipe down the bathroom and make the bed when I get home. So as far as work work goes, it's going to be a pretty light load. Uh, the only thing that would really change that plan is if Troy decides he wants to go out for lunch, which will take up a huge part of the middle of the day. Um... I think we have got enough good stuff at the house that that really shouldn't be all that necessary. Uh, I'm super oily, hence the headband. My my hair is I don't know. I think this is also part of why the bugs are eating me, but my body chemistry's changed. And I've always been oily, but I've been like mega oily since February-ish. And, uh, it is what it is. Deal. 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 Um, hopefully we'll see some cute doggos today. we see some, some of our doggo friends. Met two new doggos this week, so pretty excited about that. The sun's actually out today. It's not misty rainy anymore. We did get some rain last night. Um... Yeah, I've had coffee cuddles. I've had an entire 16 ounces of coffee before heading out. It's 6.30 in the morning. I've been up since 4. So I've gotten a lot done. I'll uh, torch beast with you guys a little bit. Oh, I need to block my Mexican mantelepa. Editing Carrie, if you haven't done this yet, get to blocking. It's been soaking for a week. I've had to change the water twice. See you guys in a little bit. So, she just got excited for a second because she sees a friend up there. But her friend is like, nope. <laughs> yeah, hi, Remy. <laughs> Do we have an auto now? Yes. He's on to hunt for squirrels. <gasps> Hunting kitty cats. Hi, kitty. So she's one of the prettiest dogs in the neighborhood. You see yours. 
She's very sweet. The Miss Katie. Yeah. This is my friend Bodie. Yes, he's my friend. He's my sweet friend. He's silly too. His best friends are Pablo and Fanny. Yeah. You met them the other day. Yeah. Hi, Booty. Back from the beach, Hi. I see. <laughs> yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, so, Y'all met Lucy. Yeah, you met Lucy. Now, this is Sprinkles. You met Jackie yesterday. This is Sprinkles. Oh, Lucy's, like, Lucy's like, no, that's my friend. That's my friend. Nobody else is allowed to be friends with me. Yes. Oh, you're so sweet. Her friends, Harley. You're such a good girl. Kaylee, she's being a weirdo. She's been kind of weird. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, you are. Oh goodness. Okay guys, so we have a meal call again. We have my monthly yarn ball as well as an order from Precious Knit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the packages real quick and make it to where I can easily show you what's in here one-handed. Okay, so first off, I wanna share with you guys the skein coats that I ordered from Precious Knits. I just don't have the name on here. Precious Knit Shop. I will leave her tagged in the description box on Etsy. So she is having a 4th of July sale. So this one is a mini skein coat, and it is $4.75. The rest of these, I think, were $8 or $8.95 on sale. So we have Scully Tons. I thought this was a really cute little, like, Christmas design. You know my love of Halloween. I'm sorry. I don't remember ordering strawberries. I might have to look at my order. I might have. I did order Kitty Cats. Definitely ordered the kitty cats and the books. Let's see. I did not order the strawberry. I will have to email her about that. Um, just so she's not missing something in her inventory. Because odds are on she's not going to ask me to send those back. But I discovered Precious Knits through my ALC boxes when I was reviewing those. And I wanted to share with you guys, that's the one we got in the Avery Lane. Hi, Bandman. Yeah, hi, Bandman. Bandman's very interested in this. They just had those true cat treats. And I have to like feed them separately when I do those because they're like cat crack in a tube. But yeah, so I really liked these. And when she had a sale, I really liked her fabric prints, which is half the reason why I buy fabric maker supplies, because I like the fabrics they use. I like their taste. So I got these. And then the other thing we have over here, we'll let Banner sniff the skin coats, because look at his cool face. Oh, there goes Pippin. Yeah, I took a nap today, so not going to lie. I put a whole bunch of hydrocortisone on. I'm still waiting to hear back from my doctor as to what I can do with the itching from these bug bites. But this is our yarn this month. And this color is called Picnic Basket on the Plush Sock. And it's a very beautiful tonal red. So that's going to be very easy to mix with like that apple orchard color or picking apples that we got last year in the fall. That's why I keep getting like the single skeins, a sock weight from her with no intention to make socks whatsoever out of it because it's too pretty to make socks. Because um, I know eventually we're going to have colors that coordinate perfectly to do a larger project. And whether I do a fade or another marled project, like this and that one together would be amazing. Um, we got a little bamboo service wear set, some fabric napkins, and then we also got a recipe and okay. let's say life is a picnic. Every summer has a story. P is for picnic. 
from What's for Dinner Club, join the club for meals. I can't quite tell. It looks like it's a black-eyed pea salad. We'll serve refrigerate, yeah. It's just a black-eyed pea salad, which is really good, just for the record. It's kind of like Hoppin' John without the rice, but that's what we got this month from Cheryl over at Yarnable. And I do still 100% pay for this box by myself. I just keep sharing it every month. I did sign up for the ALC, so we'll see what next month have for me. Actually, I think we'll get hers at the end of the month. I can't quite figure out shipping on the on some of these boxes because I get so I've gotten so many, it takes me forever to figure out the shipping schedule. My banner's hanging out the window. So anyway, I am going to get something to drink. Check on when my Amazon package is going to get here today because I still have something left to be delivered. Um, I got myself a new alarm clock to go in the craft room. And I'm probably going to grab a cup of coffee because Troy just made a pot of coffee. He's working from home today. And I might actually have time to get downstairs and work on some cards before I work on dinner. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So I did not make it downstairs yet. It is now 3 o'clock. Odds are on. I probably will not get any cards made. But I did want to share with you guys, I'm making the meat portion of the shepherd's pie finally. I just pulled rice cauliflower out of the oven or freezer and I'm going to make some mashed cauliflower with cheese. And I will show you guys what this looks like by the time I'm done. So I'm standing here cooking and... <laughs> Banner was chasing his tail in a little circle. Now Pippin has decided he's the star of the show. Yeah. Somebody has main character syndrome. No. I just ran out of the greatest spice mix ever. So you guys, I have zero idea where my brain is. I have like two hours where I can work on things, I think. So I came down here to work on some cards and totally forgot to like tell you guys what I planned on doing. That's why I don't vlog regularly. But uh, anyway, I am working on some cards. You can see where I'm starting to, excuse me, lay out pieces here. I have all the fancy cardstock pieces cut. I'm cutting black um, backers. Once again, I'm using some of the embossed cardstock that I shared with you guys at the beginning. And these white pieces are scraps from cards I did the first night. So I'll have four of this one when I'm done. But anyway, yeah. So right now my scrap pile is severely diminished, which is great. And I am just sitting here listening to I think I'm listening to let's read and some ghost stories ironically enough but they help me like zone out and I just get to to work when I listen to ghost stories so anyway that's where we are that's what's going on I also forget to show you guys the 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 shepherd's pie after I got done putting it in the oven it was fantastic, by the way. It was absolutely delicious. I kind of used the mock version of mashed potatoes I do with uh, cauliflower, except I started with the base of riced cauliflower, frozen rice cauliflower. And that actually turned out perfect for what I did. So I'm going to have to type up the recipe because I kind of had a generic base recipe that I kind of reminded myself what the spices were. But anyway... I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm sorry I forgot to film the cards that I finished before I came upstairs. I finished the four I showed you and cut out the next four using the same sketch from uh, Just Crafts. But I came upstairs and I started working on Charlie the Gingerbread Woman. She's the next uh, Amigurumi in this collection. So... 
technically she's the second one, I think, or maybe she's the first one. It says page two on my pattern, so she's the first one. Um, let's see if I can find the front page here. So, we, that's Charlie there. The phone is like creating a shadow. So that's what she's going to look like when she's done. And that'll just leave the snowman after that. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and wrap this up for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. morning you guys so it is 6 30 i have to be dead on time this morning because i've got to take banner to a doctor's appointment and i'm still gonna try to get a same day appointment with my doctor to have them tell me what i can do to slow down this itching because i can't keep pounding benadryl you guys it's getting bad um i have to slather up with the hydrocodone five or six times a day to not claw myself to ribbons but as soon as that wears off it's like boom I uh, got most of my chores done this morning um, I do have a load of laundry to fold when I get home with banner I need to film a show and tell still so I have something to put up tonight because I didn't get yesterday's video edited Troy reconnected our printers to the network and that took forever on my computer for whatever reason, so couldn't get anything edited last night. <laughs> um, so when I get back with Banner, I'll try to film a show and tell real quick. Dinner's already made. We'll do probably Szechuan chicken again, or there's some just cooked chicken breast in there. Um, I got Banner's appointment. I'm gonna try to get my appointment. I did get the shawl blocked, not last night, but this morning, in an effort to finish cleaning up my kitchen, just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's now drying, blocked out. The thing is huge. I used the two full skeins and it's huge. I think it would be so cool using a size eye hook with a worst weight yarn though i really like that pattern um that's the, the mexican mantelita by Antelot cat so hopefully i'll finish the other four cards i started last night and i'll get some progress made on charlie the gingerbread i know tomorrow's gonna be busy because i'll come back from my walk take a shower and we'll head out for the day I think next weekend we might try to do something a little bit more interesting. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. If nothing else, I'll to check in with you guys while we're at the vet. Because Banner makes the most pitiful little cat carrier cat. Hopefully we'll have some dogs out here today. But I can't spend too much time because I do have to... I have to hop to and get get rolling today. But I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Bye. So, I don't know how well y'all can see. But we have Fox and Buddy again. Since all their footage the other day got all chopped off. You'd never know Kaylee was 11 and Fox and Buddy are boobas. Somebody very cute and fluffy is very, very, very angry at his mommy right now. Fun, man.
You won't even look at me. Bye, We're only in the driveway, so we... Okay, I'm not sure where this keeps cutting out so much. We're still just in the driveway, but he absolutely will not look at me now. I showed him that I have one of these cat treats that he can have at the vet. If he's good for the vet, and he's still back there like, nope. It's okay, Banorano. We're just going out into the great wide open. It's okay. Yeah, he's mad at me. And we are exploring around at the vet's office. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah, new environment. Come here, Ben Ram. Come on. Come on, Ma. Yeah, you're too big to hide under the bench now. You don't fit under there anymore, baby. <laughs> Somebody has a clean bill of health. And he was very good for the doctor. Still mad at mommy, but very good for the doctor. So I finally found a low-carb jelly that I really like. And now they no longer sell it in the store. So I decided to buy a selection of all the flavors I haven't already tried, with the exception of strawberry, which I loved. But... I have three things of where they clearance out the grape in the pantry, but now I have fig and apricot and forest fruits, raspberry, cherry, I'm really excited about the orange marmalade, and black currant. So I also, just to get my free shipping, added one of their uh, keto friendly syrups, but I'm pretty excited about this. So. Alrighty, you guys, so it's actually pretty early for me to be cutting the video, but there's really not a whole lot more to show for the rest of the day. I'm going to try to use up the yarn I frogged out, so I messed up starting the body on Charlie the Gingerbread Woman, and I'm having to kind of redo about an inch worth of the body here, but I'll start stuffing it here as soon as I've got a little bit more to grip onto as I'm working. Um, but yeah, the rest of the night's just going to be kind of working on this. I really didn't have a whole lot to show for the day as a whole. I'm kind of sorry. It was another one of those boring days where, yeah, I just did normal stuff. Nothing, nothing interesting really to share. I made some phone calls and did some paperwork and cleaned and dinner was chicken breast with sauteed summer squash. I mean, it, <laughs> nothing was all that interesting. So, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a night. That way I can get everything smushed together from yesterday and today and get it uploaded for tomorrow morning. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic night. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow.